Hey friends, let's get wrapped up in something fun today. I'm going to show you how to make this mummy next. The supplies I'm using for my craft today are the pattern, the stencil, and a sharpie, styrofoam, a styrofoam round, a hot knife or utility knife, paint brushes, toothpicks, glitter, paints, hot glue gun. Okay friends, let's start with the mummy body. I'm going to trace it on my styrofoam. with my Sharpie. I'm just going to have a few more crafts that are going to involve the styrofoam for Christmas and then we'll do something different. But for anybody that's new to my channel, I want to show you how I cut out the styrofoam body. I'm not wearing the GoPro on my head today. I miss it. This is so easy to do. I have to say, I haven't ruined any pieces of styrofoam since I got the hot knife. I don't believe, have I? No, I think that there were some that you maybe cut a little bit smaller because you were cutting inside the line at first, not realizing. Yeah. Yeah, I told Derek, oh, my project looks little now. And I just give this a little wipe down on this uh, board here. Look at that, friends. How easy is that? And then you just hit it with some sandpaper. And then all I do is sand the rough edges. And this one cut pretty clean. Look at that. Okay, friends. So we've already got our uh, project all cut out and sanded. Now we're ready to paint. And the little round comes from Dollar Tree. And it's about five inches. I'm just going to briefly just go over it with a base coat of white paint so that we can jump into the detail part of it. And I like to dip my brush into the water because it helps smooth the paint out. And it just goes on and covers a lot quicker. This project is so fun and easy to do. I'm going to use my mummy. I'm going to use it as a decoration on my Halloween tree. And I'm a little behind on that, but um, I'll let you know why we're running behind on some of our videos here in a little bit. I'm not going to do the sides and the back for filming purposes. Because like I said, I want to get to the fun and detail part so that you can see how easy it is to make this mummy. Okay, friends, we always include the pattern in the description of the video. Um, I make my homemade stencils out of projector film that uh, I've had a box from way back that I purchased at Office Depot and uh, I cut my own stencils out, but I'm going to be trying something new. Uh, we just invested in, in a Cricut, and uh, Eric has been cutting out some stencils for me. So I'm going to try the stencil of the mummy, which includes, if you don't find a round, here's the stencil, the outline of the circle that he cut out for me in case I couldn't find a round. And 
And so let's try it out. I'm going to start off with. Might be easier to see once you get some paint on it. <laughs> I know. This is brand new. When they're brand new, it's hard to see. And I'm a little out of it. We've been kind of busy and uh, hadn't been able to film. A little busy, maybe for you. I'm a lot of busy. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm very busy, both of us. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's see how this is going to work. So far, so good. That cricket is amazing. My problem is I'm a little old fashioned and I don't like to read instructions. <laughs> it takes too long. I just rather do, do it by trial and error. Trust me, there was no instructions on how to make this. Well, but then you have to sit there and look at um, videos on how some people, how they work it, so. That's time consuming. I can't even see it, it's quite, all right. Well, that looks pretty good. So I'm gonna let that just sit for just a minute. And let me see if I have another one already dry to where I can put the detail. No, I don't, but I'll go ahead and let that sit for just a minute and we'll work on the body. Hey, Eric, that worked pretty good. And that brush has about had it. Okay, on the body, friends, nothing hard. Um, I'm going to use this brush here. This is a dry brush. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dry brush around the edges with black. And when you dry brush, you try to take off any access off the sides. Pick up your project and just start anywhere. Just give it a good outline. Go ahead and do the neck area. This is so much fun. And I got this idea. I, I um, made some dough ornaments for a Halloween tree a long time ago. And I pulled that tree out and those ornaments and I saw it and I thought, oh, it would look so cute made out of styrofoam to go on the Halloween tree. Now, friends, I really don't know where I saw it. Maybe it was a decorated cookie or something. But it was a long time ago that I made it. Okay, so you've got your outline done. Go ahead and do the outline here. Because after all, mummy needs to be a little dirty, so it looks a little dirty on the edges here. Because it's supposed to be old after all. There you go. Okay. And for the lines, I just kind of Just kind of guesstimated. I think that I'll do this a little bit darker so that you can see. You can't go wrong, friends. It's going to be your creation, whatever you choose to do with it. Okay, and I'm just going to do, so that I don't, don't cut myself short there, 
just gonna make it start up at the top here, go down. Does this show up on camera, Eric? Yeah. Good. All right. And we'll do one right here. Another one here. And I guess I'll do this right here. Okay, so now I'm going to try We'll see how well this is. I wasn't sure how this stencil would work. I appreciate my Eric so much. I mean, he just surprised me with putting this together for me. And I know it takes time and he's got his own projects and work that he's got going. So I appreciate him so much. Without Eric, we wouldn't have videos. <laughs> Look at that. It's going to be so easy to uh, detail. All right. Okay, I'm just going to, um, since I made these a little bit thick, I'll go ahead and go over this. Oh my gosh, Eric, this is so perfect. Okay, so the next thing that I did was I took my, um, see, am I done with this? Yes. I took my Slick Paint, and Slick Paint, friends, is by the Tulip brand, and it's a fabric paint. I usually get it at Walmart, and I love working with it. Let me see if I can make the shoes upside down. Because the mummy needs shoes, I think. Or mine does, anyway. You just fill it in right out of the bottle. And that does take a little bit of time to dry. I don't like the way that looks right there. Because it went on there pretty thick. But once it's dry, it is dry. Now let's shake a little glitter because I like my things to shine. Oh my goodness, it's already looking so cute. All right, next thing you're gonna do is the heart. Did we cut out a heart, Eric? You did. Okay. Under the, the napkin. There we go. I want my mummy to have a heart. Here we go this way. And it's going to be purple. Should have had a pink one. Okay. Just going to stencil that on there. Friends, with stencils, you cannot go wrong, I promise you. Let me see. And I'm using this um, Midnight Gem glitter. And I got this at Walmart. And I like the way it looks. Let's 
See? So easy. All right, now you're ready to detail the lines. And that's straight out of the bottle. And this is a new bottle, so I expect it to just give me a run for my money here. And it doesn't have to be black. It can be any color you want it to be, friend. It's going to be your creation, so you run with it. up there a little bit but you know me it's gonna be okay friends look at that how fast and easy was that okay I'm gonna go ahead and detail the lines on the face while I'm at it the face is not dry on this one yet but I've got one that is so we can detail it to stitch that up there Got a little thick you know what Eric since I'll have it a couple of extra mummies why don't we do a giveaway a mummy sounds good I think it's time for a giveaway I wish Postage wasn't so high, I'd be doing one every video. Oh, this is so cute. Look at that. Just look for a second. Perfect. Okay, I've got one that is ready to be detailed. on the face, that's what I was gonna do, the face. All right, let's see, where are the cutouts for the face? Here they are, the stencil. On the face, friends, let me get. Just gonna stencil the eyes. You know what I realized you did wrong? What? You used the stencil upside down. Because I matched your lines on, on the original one you made there, and the lines are all off. No, they're not. No, look. That one connects to that. I just need to make a little line there. I'm talking about opposed to your original. Oh. You, you did it backwards. Well, I think we need to mark them then. Okay, so, but this one has the mouth right here. Yeah, but you didn't line that up beforehand. You just slapped the stencil on there. That's why I even left guides on there so you could... Like right there? Is that right? That's what I did on that one. No, you didn't. You have, a, you have the face flip backwards. Okay, is this correct right here? Flip it over. Everything. Matches up with that line. Oh, darn. <laughs> okay, is this? You painted on the re reverse side. Okay, so is this correct right here? I mean, the lines should line up. That's why there's corresponding lines. I left them in there so that way it'd be easy to line up. I can't see it. Oh, here they are right there. You're so correct. I just didn't do it correctly. Okay, friends, here we go. <laughs> Figured that out. Stuff happens. 
<laughs> oh well. Uh, did I tell y'all it's been a long week? It's Friday. Thank God. Although you may be watching this, I don't know when. <laughs> Okay, I've got the eyes going on, and I'm just going to do the little smile right there. Trace my line there. Gosh, it's... it's, it's and there's nothing wrong with it being reversed. The only... I'll know, make it work. Well, no, I'm just saying, like, even if you were to... If somebody used it in reverse... It's fine, but you might want to make sure that your body lines match up. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to make it work because I'm just going to add, a, draw a little line right there, and it's going to be perfect. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's fine. It's just, I had designed I it towards I make your, things work. I designed it towards your original. <laughs> I know, design. son. You try to make things easier for me, and I complicate them for you. And I'm just going to do that for the circle of the... Theme of my life. <laughs> Not just with you, I just met in general. I was trying to make that easier on other people and they always make my life more complicated. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, before I put this up, let me give that. Yeah, that one's looking more like the original. Is there one missing right there? Did I miss one? Mm -hmm. How about I just put it in? There you go. It'll be okay. Uh, trust me, it will look cute. Okay, I, so I was just having one of those mom moments. <laughs> mom, you're doing it wrong. After I tried to do it, make things easy for you. Kids will always be kids. I know it, and moms will always be moms. Mummies. <laughs> Mom, mama. Oh my gosh, I shook this and this was loose. Ooh. That was close. Ooh, doggy. That was close. Okay, I'm using a real pretty orange. It's a pumpkin orange by Apple Barrel for the cheeks. And I'm just dry brushing these because I wanted you to see how easy. You don't have to have a sponge. And of course, I did cut that out in the stencil, did I not? No, I didn't. No, because I didn't have it on the pattern. Ah, okay. I didn't have it on the pattern. Oh, it's good. It's, it's pretty easy, as you can see, to add on if you wanted to. Yeah, you can cut little circles. Or, like, I mean, just do it freehand with a brush like that. Friends, I don't know how we're going to do this, but we're, we're thinking about, what, an Etsy store to where we can carry the stencils? We're always going to give you the patterns for free. God gave me a gift, and I, I want to share that with everyone, and I don't think it would be right for me to sell the pattern to you. So the pattern, hopefully, will always be free. But maybe we'll sell the stencils. I don't know. Well, I mean, just to, no one's trying to get rich or create a job off of it, but, no, but materials cost money. Well, it's the postage. I would love to send more uh, friend mail out and stuff. And uh, goodness. And I also want to treat our friends like, I'd like to send something to our viewers from Canada or, or Puerto Rico or Australia, our friend Jared. And... Um, I don't know. I'll have to look into... Who's the lady from Australia that calls you... What did she call you? Sausage? No, possum. Oh, possum. <laughs> and now your dad calls me that. Sausage is from the UK. That's right. That's right. <laughs> I'm to keep up with all the language. <laughs> ah, oh, my husband heard that and he said, that's your name, possum. Oh, my gosh. Although I'm pretty sure that's the lady's name and she signs her name at the end and that's what you misread. Um, no, I think, I think she, there's more than one, um, uh, person that's addressed you. Yes. Yeah. From, from, uh, Australia. I'll have to brush up on my lingo watching some of the. My husband thought that was the cutest thing he'd ever heard. He said, that's what I'm going to call you now. And I go, gee, thanks. <laughs> Just don't do it in public. 
Okay, look, I just added the glitter. I'm sorry, I was talking and I didn't tell you. I just added the glitter while the cheeks are wet. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to go ahead and make my lines. And friends, the nose, I used this, uh, the slick, the scribbles. It's, it's still Tulip. I mean, it's just a different brand, but it's still slick. It comes in a little bottle and a variety of different colors. And um, you wouldn't want to buy a big bottle of brown or beige because you won't use it. It'll dry up on you before, unless you're doing a project that calls for that color. So I bought, when it comes to just something I'm not going to use a lot, I'll just get the little bottle. Okay, I'm going to detail these eyes right quick because I don't think that they shine enough. They don't talk to me. Let's see. I'm going to go over them with the slick. You don't have to. This is something that I'm doing just because I want to do. And I'm going to glitter them. Lightly because Sorry. Make up your mind. Right here. I don't want the black to get on the orange or the. Ta da! All right, now we are going to add the white detail on the little eyeball. Please do good. Let's see. I'm not going to add the black on there. Not today because I'm afraid that it's not dry enough. All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and detail it. It's going to be fast and easy. This can be used as a, in the centerpiece. Um, you can just stand it up. You can make a little base for it out of um, styrofoam or clay. There's so many things that you can do with these. Friends, I didn't get to it this year, but for next year, I also have a Frankenstein, Mr. and Miss Frankenstein. And a vampire. Look at that. Look at that. How cool is that? Let's move this aside. Look at that. That is too cool. Now, I think I have one completely. I'm going to steal the face off of that one. I think I can do this while it's wet. I'm going to take a couple of toothpicks, just kind of like I did the gingerbread people. And um, just kind of, let me put it. This is still very wet. I hope I don't mess it up. And if I do, oh well, it'll be okay, I'll fix it. Sometimes the styrofoam is hard. Okay. Oh, I need to put a little bit of hot glue. My cord is all tangled up. Let 
Now remember there is styrofoam glue from the Dollar Tree that you can use. And it works great. Okay, I'm going to lay this down since my little head is still wet. Now what's wrong with this? Yeah, I mean, you didn't put the toothpicks in the right place. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but... <laughs> How about right here? Is that right? It's a mummy. He's probably got a crooked neck anyways. Eric, look at that. That matches to that. What were you so worried about? Ouch. <laughs> that was hot. Uh, friends, what do you think? How about hashtag mummy if you'd like to win this? Cute little mummy. It turned out all right. Oh my gosh, I love it. Friends, we'd like to say thank you to everyone that showed up to the craft fair this past weekend. We had a wonderful time. We appreciate everyone that came out to say hello and to support us. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, friends. Also, the shirt that I'm wearing today is a gift from a family friend, Lisa, who lives out in Pio, Texas. Thank you, Lisa. I love it. Friends, be happy. Not because everything is good, but because you can see the good in everything. Love y'all. Bye.